Well, concerns about witness harassment in a high-profile case involving the murder of a Boston police officer has the prosecutor making a move that he admits is not typical here. Norfolk County District Attorney Michael Morrissey did not mince words in a recorded video statement released tonight. NBC 10's Aaron Logan has more on his serious concerns with the Commonwealth versus Karen Reed case. There's no question this case has gotten an overwhelming amount of social media attention. But the district attorney says now that witnesses are being harassed, he had to do something, something he's never been pushed to do before. It should be an outrage to any decent person, and it needs to stop. Innuendo is not evidence. False narratives are not evidence. It's the first statement of its kind in District Attorney Michael Morrissey's dozen years in that role. But he says he wanted to make it clear he's fed up that witnesses are being falsely accused in the murder of Boston police officer John O'Keefe in January 2022. These people were not part of a conspiracy and certainly did not commit murder or any crime that night. They have been forthcoming with authority. Police say Karen Reed, O'Keefe's girlfriend at the time, hit him with her SUV while dropping him off at a house party in Canton. Her attorneys argue that someone else killed O'Keefe and allege a cover-up. The media attention surrounding this case has become part of the legal arguments. Prosecutors recently filed a motion asking that Reed and her attorneys stop speaking to the media. The judge denied that gag order. I practiced law for 40 years and have not seen... Uh, such a statement with such force. But NBC 10 legal analyst Michael Coyne says he can see why the DA is speaking out. And I'm sure the defendant is going to argue in this case that this statement, the force uh, of the statement and the video presentation potentially is a taint on the jury pool now by the district attorney's office. The court is going to have to be very, very careful to select a jury uh, that hasn't already made up its mind. We reached out to all attorneys involved in this case and have not yet heard back. If you'd like to read the statement or view it in its entirety, it is posted on our website. Karen Reed is expected to be back in court on September 15th. In Needham, Aaron Logan, NBC10 Boston.